Alright guys, what's going on? Today I've got another video for you and today I'm going to show you how to install KOTOR tools for Mac through Wine. I'm going to be strictly following this tutorial from Forget Canon. She's a great modder. Um, she's very helpful. She got me to get this KOTOR tool to work for me, which I use of course to make my mods, which is very important of course. So. Let's get started right with it. First thing that you're going to need is Wineskin Winery. So, you're going to go ahead and just, if you've already downloaded it, go ahead and open it. I'll link it down in the description in case you don't have it e either. Um, so, I'm going to go ahead and just go with 1.7.35. Um, it's just easier to do that because, well, that's just what I've done it with and also forget Canon. So you're going to go ahead and create a blank wrapper. You can name it whatever you want. doesn't matter. Um, coder tools, whatever. That's what it's called. So Wineskin Winery will be creating the wrapper. And while you're waiting, let me just talk a little bit about it. So this tool is very important. It's basically what you need in order to make mods. Without it, mm, good luck there. Anyways. So, now it's going to still be installing. It should be just about finished now. And once it's done, it'll pop up. Um, you you can exit out Wineskin Winery once it pops up. So go ahead and view Wrapper and Finder. Exit out Wineskin Winery. Now you're going to open up Coder Tools right here. And what you're going to click is go to Advance, Tools, and Wine Tricks. Now you're going to search up .NET 20. Now you're going to go ahead and click the check and run. Go ahead and click run again. Now Coder Tools will pop up and you'll start seeing a ton of writing down here. It, it'll take a couple of minutes. I mean, really doesn't matter. So go ahead and click next. I accept, install. Now it will be set up. Um, it will, like I said, take a couple of minutes, so I'll be right back once it's done installing. Alright, so once it's finished, this will, this will pop up. You can go ahead and click finish. The wine tricks will stop once it's done here. Alright, so now once it's done, you can go ahead and click close. Now what you're going to want to do next is open up registry editor. Now this window will pop up. So what you're going to want to do is go to H key local machine. You can go ahead and open up software. It doesn't matter, but you're going to click on it, add new key, and then title it Bioware. Exactly like that. All right. So once you make Bioware, you're going to want to go ahead and make another key, title it SW, go ahead and click enter, make another key, and then title it Kotor. Now what you're going to want to do with KOTOR is add a new string value. Go ahead and name that path. Now you're going to have to find the um, path to your Knights of the Old Republic game. So you're going to go to your users, library, application support, Steam, Steam apps, common, Star Wars KOTOR. Go ahead and show package contents. You can exit out that window contents, KOTOR data, and then you're going to want to go ahead and click on another one just in case. That way it shows um, everything, the whole path. So you're going to go ahead and copy all that. Exit out. You can go ahead and minimize that. It doesn't matter. Double click on path and then paste all of that. Now what you're going to have to do is make all of these backslashes into forward slashes or vice versa. I don't really know the difference. I don't think it matters though. But just make it these slashes that I'm making them. So go ahead and do that for all of those. Might take a little bit of time depending on how f large your path is. Go ahead and keep doing that. Oops. Alright, and then right here, another forward path, you're going to type in capital Z and then colon. Go ahead and click OK. Now that will be set right there. Now, if you want Knights of the Old Republic 2, I mean, why wouldn't we, at least if you have the game, you're going to go ahead and highlight software again. Go ahead and create a new key. 
entitle it Lucas Arts. Exactly like that. All right. Once you have Lucas Arts, go ahead and click New Key again. Title it Kotor 2. Exactly like this, guys. Then go ahead and create a new string value. Title it Path. All right. Now you're going to want to find the path of your Knights of the Old Republic 2. Now, since I have it installed in this wrapper, thanks to a legal version via Steam, guys. Remember, always get the legal versions. You're going to want to go to Program Files, Common Files. Oops, not common files, my bad. Steam, Steam Apps, Common, Knights of the Old Republic 2. And go ahead and click on another one. That way you can get the full path. Then you're going to go ahead and copy all of this. Go ahead and copy. You can minimize that, it doesn't matter. And then you're going to double click on path. Paste all of that. Now again, you're going to do the same thing that you did for the Knights of the Old Republic one by making these forward slashes or backslashes, whatever. I think these are backslashes. But anyways, go ahead and do that for all of these. Now this path should be longer because it's not installed directly on the Mac like all other files are. Gotta go through all this stuff here. Oh, the troubles of having a Mac, am I right guys? Alright, so now once you have that, go ahead and do the capital Z in the colon, click OK, then you can go ahead and exit out of the registry editor. And now this will close eventually. Now if you want to check just in case that you did it alright, go ahead and click on registry editor again. And just make sure that this stuff is here. As you can see, Bioware. LucasArts, all that good stuff. Alright, so go ahead and exit out again. Now you're going to go to configuration. Well, it doesn't matter. You could go to tools anyway. Go ahead and go to install software. Choose setup executable. You're going to look up Codor to find the Codor tools setup. Go ahead and, I don't know, you can do anything with that. It doesn't matter. Click next. I agree. Now unclick those. You don't need those and keep this destination the same. Go ahead and install and click finish. Now it's going to ask you to verify the installation again, but you can just keep that all the same. Click OK. And then here's KOTOR tool. Oh, amazing, right guys? Now again, if you want to create any mods, this is definitely what you need. You've got everything you could need from the game. You got UTI files like this. Now sometimes errors will pop up. Um, I'll try and get one to pop up like this. Just go ahead and click continue and then just keep trying to open it and it'll open up eventually like that. So again, you've got everything you need whether it's character editing files, anything like that, textures from the game. For example, like anything here, say I want this armor. There you go. The layouts are horrible. I hate them. But that's just how they had to make them. So there's Kotor 1, then Kotor Tool. Kotor 2, my bad. It's right here. Everything's basically the same. So yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, don't forget to check out Forget Canon. Um, she's great for making this tutorial. I believe she followed another tutorial, but who cares? All, all that matters is that we have this. So, thanks again. Hope you enjoyed, like the video, and I'll be sure to catch you guys in my next one.